Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. What you are using for the interest of God, the interest of people around you, it is what they want. And if the Lord open your eyes to see the reason why they really want that which you have, you will be surprised. Because the reason why they want that we should have, it is because they want it for their own interest. When you have a heart anointing and you see many people who want that same anointing, they don't just want to connect to the anointing. They want to strip you off of the anointing. Not that they are going to ask and say, God, give me similar gift. No. When you see somebody speaking in tongues, it's not like they are going to say, God, bless me with the gifts of tongues. When they see somebody prophesying, not that they are going to ask the Lord, God, give me the gift of prophesying. They are like, God, take these things away from this person and give it to me. In other words, they should strip you naked so they will be clothed. God is not a wicked God. God will not allow anything to strip you naked. Because before God gave you anything, he knows that you will use it for his glory. You see that, that finesse that you have where you can be able to stretch forth your hands and bless people, where you can be able to stretch forth your hands and bless families and bless churches and bless yourself as well. There are people who want that same finances. The reason why they want the same finances, it is for their own interest, not for the interest of God or for the interest of those that the Lord will send them to go and help it is all about them. You know, they, uh, they criticize you for having that which you have. But that which you have is the same thing that they want. And when you look deep, shadow of God, they want it for their own benefit. Not for the benefit of what God said it should be used for. Many people want to be millionaires. When you ask some persons, why do you want to be millionaire? They will tell you that, ah, if I'm a millionaire, forget it. I will not sleep at home again. And, uh -uh. If you are a millionaire, you will not sleep at home again. What do you mean? No, I will not sleep at home again. All the corners in this city, I am going to be going to all the corners, you know. I will visit here. I will do this. I will do that. So you are not going to be sleeping. I will leave this house for my siblings. I will leave it for my father, my mother. I'm going to just go away and look for a quiet place and be enjoying and be carrying women or men, whatever. When you ask people, you ask 10 persons that want to be a millionaire. I am not even talking in the world, in the body of Christ. You put 10 people down, you are like, what do you want to, why do you want to be a millionaire? You will see that seven, the reason why they want to be a millionaire is a wrong motive. A wrong motive. I want to be rich so that when my ex sees me or hear about me, he will know that I am not a big woman. When my ass here about me, you will not hear that I'm not a big man. You are like, is that why you want to be rich? He said, yes. Wrong motive. Wrong motive. People want what you have. But the way they want it, they want it in a way that you will not even have anything again. Like others who want others to fall so that they themselves only can grow. I let nobody go to this person's channel again. But everybody to come to my own. That is greed. They want their growth for a wrong reason then. What happens if everybody grow together? What happens if they wet, if they if they anointing, everyone have it and they use it so well to elevate and to empower the body of Christ, to populate the kingdom of God and to depopulate the kingdom of hell? What happens? Is, he, is there anything wrong in that? To this person, they are struggling to take everything that you have. 
But God is not going to allow them because what God has given to you is for you to use to edify. You know, edifying the church, edifying the body of Christ is not just only prophesying, preaching the gospel and all of that. You can edify the, 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 the presence of God by helping. By helping, by being somebody important in your family, in your household. So it becomes the body of Christ. Wherever you help, wherever God sends you to help someone, that place you are helping the body of Christ is not a building. Even if it's one person you saw outside and God said, help this woman, help this man, you help the person, you have edified the body of Christ. You have preached the gospel with what you have just done. <clears throat> you know, when people are like, this what you have, give it to me. They are not like, pray. I want to also be able to do similar something. There is nothing wrong if everyone have a good gift and use the good gift in the right way. What you have, protect it with all jealousy. If it is that husband that you have that is kind, protect him. You have the husband. You are happy you are giving God glory. You are using to the husband. You are helping other people as well. To that husband, you are reaching out to families as well. There are some persons who want that same man. The reason why they want that same man that you have, it is for them to show off. I said, look at my husband. He has money. He's kind. Come and see him. That is why, that is why I said protect everything that you have with your jealousy. Protect it with prayers. They want that man that you are married to. They don't want their own. The reason why they even want the man, they see how caring the man is towards you. They see how caring the man is towards your, the affairs of your life. They see how concerned the man is when it comes to your situation. They see how much the man loves you. And through the marriage or through that man, you are able to help people as well. Why? Because when you marry a generous man, you become generous to others. And you two are generous and all of that. But there is someone out there who is hoping that your marriage crash so that they can take the man. God will disappoint them. Nobody will strip, will strip you naked. There is somebody who is hoping that your anointing will die so that they themselves will be the one that are the anointed ones only. God is not a wicked God. There is someone who is hoping that nobody blesses you finances anymore financially anymore so that everybody that wants to bless people financially will come to them alone god is not a wicked god what they are asking it is a request that cannot be granted it is a request that cannot be granted <laughs> when people want to take people's children away why because they see how much the mother love the children that is wickedness they see how much love he poured to the children. They are like, these children will take them. If they are giving the children, they will only abuse the children, use them to, on social media. That is what is going on now. People will go and adopt people's children just to come and display on social media because they want to grow. They want people, they want to see them like they are helping children. Behind the scenes, something else is going on. A wrong motive. A wrong motive. I am praying for somebody that all the Lord has given to you, your anointing, your home, your calling, your gift, your children, your job, your life, no power will be able to take it. They will not strip you naked. They will not strip you naked. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.